because now we have an empty index.js so that's why if i try to run npm run start it's not going to work and you can see we are having this blank white screen why we have that because we don't have anything to get started remember we have to do two things first we need to use the react dom dot render this is the first thing and second we need to actually import these things in this file we are actually on the index.js we are not using any cdn so in every file whatever we want to use we need to import it and from where we are importing we are importing from this node module which is the default place to import so i just say import react dom from react hyphen dom why react hyphen dom because in our package.json you can see we have this react hyphen dom okay so what we can do inside render we already know these things first we need to give the element we want to render and second should be the target and target will always be document dot get element by id of root why the id of root because in this public html index dot html we have this div with the id of root yes you can name it anything it doesn't matter whatever you define here that should be exactly same here so by doing this if i save this file we will get error says el is not defined this el so let's define el so let el is equal to and i will say hello quickly fixing everything and yes you can see we have this hello but we know all these things so directly we can go to start with the jsx so let's use a jsx and inside this i will say hello react that is a div included in this js file but by doing this we will get some different kind of error this is react must be in the scope when using jsx yes we know because to render this jsx into react.create element we need a babel but instead of babel we will get the react that include everything so just like react dom we can also import react from react once again we have this in package.json this one so we have imported that let's see what will be the result and yes we have this react hello react actually but we know that this index file was not having this kind of structure it was having a like app here and a simple component so instead of this i'm going to convert this into a functional component that is going to return this jsx like this and this is taking shape as the react project has given us so now it's still it's working absolutely fine but remember uh, the responsibility of every file should be only one so what is the responsibility of index.js the responsibility of index.js is just to render into the dom but we are doing two things we are rendering plus we are creating a functional component so that's why instead of having a functional component here we can go into source directory and here i can create a app.js file and then i will move this functional component here and then i will try to import so i will say import app from but now this app.js is in the same directory so i can say dot forward slash 
and the name of the file. We don't have to define .js because this is a JavaScript world. React is a JavaScript framework. Okay, by doing this, let's see what we have to do next. So it says some error. Okay, so I think I have not saved it. Maybe, yeah, this is a white dot. I have saved it. Now it says React must be in the scope. Yeah, we know what we need to do. We need to actually move this uh, import or actually copy and paste it here. Next, now it says the app doesn't contain a default export. So whenever we are importing anything, obviously we can import only when we are exporting something. If you are giving something, then only someone can take. So here we are importing, let's export it. So you can say export default like this, or you can say export default and giving the name this. So both are the same thing. It's just a way of uh, defining the export default. We have done that and now once again, we are back with the hello react. That's an amazing thing. Now, because we have a separate file for the functional component, then we can design it in our own way. And in that way, we are not touching this index.js because the responsibility of index.js is just to render the app into the document root. But remember, uh, we also have a one more syntax which is called require. This is also a syntax. Can we do this? Yes, you can do this, but this is a little difficult thing to create. So I will say const app is equal to require, but then I will try to log it like here. And then we will see what we are getting in the console. In the console, yes, we are getting error, but at the top, we are getting a module and module is having a default like this. So we can do dot default, then we are getting the function, which is the app function, this one. So instead of this, I can say dot default. Now, if I see, yes, it is working, but the modern way is to import like this, import app from app, and that will going to work once again. So let's move ahead.